the Tempestus Aquilons are elite airborne specialists within the Militarum Tempestus, chosen for their adaptability, aggression and unparalleled skill. Trained in the Brutal Scola Pragenium, these soldiers master graph shoot deployments, close quarters combat and precision strikes. Equipped with advanced Melta and Plasma Carbines, they excel in deep strike missions behind enemy lines. Unlike typical Scions, Aquilons thrive on improvisation and self-sufficiency, making them Imperium's go-to force for high-risk, high-reward operations that demand unwavering loyalty and unparalleled discipline. And today we gonna build the Aquilon Tempester, the guy who actually leads the kill team, Tempestus Aquilon kill team from new kill team Hivestorm into battle. This is this guy, or to be more correct, variation of this guy. We can assemble him in four different ways. And before we go into the assembly process, let me really quickly explain how the assembly works. All four variants start with the same base. We basically have to assemble the torso with the backpack. But the loadout depends on what do we want to have. We either do the guy with the bolt pistol, actually this is a relic bolt pistol, and the chain sword, or we do the hotshot last pistol and the power sword, or we use hotshot last carbine, or we do this guy. These options are color coded, and uh, if we want to do the blue one, we gonna follow the blue instructions. If we gonna do the green one, we're gonna follow the green instructions. And by the way, spoiler alert, this is the guy we're gonna build. A hot shot uh, last pistol and the power sword. And after that, when we are done with the colored parts, we continue with the common parts, which is basically 4F in this instruction set. We need to put a hat on the torso. And we're gonna achieve one of these guys. I really like how this guy looks like uh, with the hotshot last pistol and the power sword, so I think we're gonna do the Tempester of this kind, which is gonna be green. This guy is our guy. We start as always with the torso, A1 and A2. This is bit number one, and this is bit A2. Bits one and two are cleaned up. They should be sitting together like this. And I'm gonna glue them. This is our torso. Next, we need to attach the right leg A3 and this belt looking thing. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it is A4. This is leg number three. And this is belt looking thing number four. Our right leg is cleaned up. Let's take a look where it should be sitting. There is a lock here and it should be like this. This look is not particularly good, it's a bit flimsy. Anyways, I'm gonna glue it now. There we go, this is our leg. Now let's take a look at this belt looking thing. There is a look over here, so it should be sitting like this. And it should be going here. Like this. You see there is some bits over here that is supposed to touch it. I'm gonna glue it really carefully. I'm gonna put some glue around this thing. I'm gonna put some glue here too. This is how it should be sitting. Some sort of a power cable, I guess. Yep, that is it. That is it. And he should be standing, or she, you can actually assemble this guy as both a guy and a girl. They should be standing on Tactical Rock A5. This is our Tactical Rock A5. The Tactical Rock looks quite cool. It is actually some kind of a piping, not really a rock. And our guy should be standing like this. There we go. I'm gonna put some glue in this lock. You see there is a lock over here, and there is a small piece of kind of dent or something for his leg. Actually gonna assemble the Tempester as a guy. That is why I'm gonna refer to this mini as him. There we go. 
This is our Tempester standing on a tactical rock. And now we need to put him on the base. We need a 28 millimeter base. I have one here. And the reason I know this is a 20 millimeter base is because if I go to the first page of this thing, there is a pattern that allows me to check the size. And this is 28 millimeter. So I'm going to glue our lad to the base. Could be somewhat like this. This is our lad standing proudly on a 28 millimeter base. And now we need to do the backpack. The backpacks for all the Aquilons somehow are done in two pieces, 22 and 23. It's actually quite funny. For this Tempester, this is that 22, but for all other guys, it's gonna be 23. And the only difference is that there is a camera on top of the backpack for the Tempester. That is how you know he is in charge. Okay, this is B22, and this is B23. Both parts of the backpack are cleaned up. They should be combined together like this. Here we go. I am going to glue them. And this is our backpack with a camera feed over here. Very, very tiny camera. Let's see how it should be sitting on his back. It should be like this. There is a prominent look. And I'm gonna put some glue over here in order to glue it. And this is our Tempester so far. And now we arrive to the custom assembly port. As we said, we're gonna go with this Hotshot Last Pistol and Power Sword. And that means that our instructions are green. As you can see, we have two options how to assemble the hand. This is actually a quite versatile kit. And I'm gonna go with this one because this is how he looks over here. So we will need beats. A10 and A12. This is beat number 10 and this is beat number 12. These are our beats. The problem I have with the baseline humans is that they are so flimsy and small, it is almost impossible to figure out if you have to do anything or not. So, for example, this hot shot last pistol, I was not entirely sure if I should drill a hole in it or not. It is so small, it's not even a bolter. So, uh, it is super easy to damage your last pistol. If you want to drill, be very careful. Anyways, this is our hand. It's supposed to be combined like this. Uh, this is how it should be. And I am going to glue it. Again, super flimsy. Tiny amount of glue. Don't put too much, otherwise you might have trouble. Here we go. This is our hand. I will give this hand a little bit of rest. And in the meanwhile, I will move to the next part, which in our case is gonna be A14. This is a power sword. For the chain sword, there is supposed to be assembly from two bits, but A14 is just one bit. This is our A14. I have cleaned up the hand with the power sword, the left hand. Let's see how it should be attached over here. So the lock over here, even though it looks like a lock, is not really a lock, but the position should be somewhat like this. It is a little bit flexible, you can move a little bit here and there. Technically, you see there is something lock looking over here, but still there is a degree of variability. So I'm just gonna put some glue on these bits and try to make it look good. So this is roughly the correct position. And now we need to put another hand over here. So it should be roughly like this. I'm gonna glue it now. Note that this right arm might require some partial assembly in case you wanna be incredibly careful painting this leg and this arm. 
I myself don't care that much, that is why I just put it over there immediately. The final bit, as we mentioned before, is supposed to be putting a head. Even though I really enjoy the heads with a helmet, I think for this mini it is only fitting to have a head without helmet. And uh, we have a male and female heads here, I'm gonna go with male. The heads are on a separate sprue, so this is how the helmet it would look like. You can see it is incredibly cool. We, however, will go with this one, 121. This is the male, and this is the female. If you want to have a female, this is 127. This is our head. It is very, very, very small. And it should be sitting over here, somewhat like this. I'm gonna glue it directly, and we can fix the correct position after we put it in place. So he is looking on his left. I think this is how it should be. And this is our Tempester, the Tempester Sequilon squad leader. This is a very enjoyable mini. I will give it 5 service calls out of 5 for the fun of building it. And I will give it 5 service calls out of 5 for the easy to assemble part. Because this mini had very little mold line. And apart from the hands that were a little bit too wobbly to my liking, this mini was very very easy to assemble. It looks very cool. Took me roughly half an hour to assemble it really carefully. Might require some partial assembly with this right arm. But other than that, this is a very straightforward mini. I really enjoy new humans they make in Games Workshop. They look incredibly cool. I think this is the first Astra Militarum mini I have assembled. Let's compare it to the Space Marine. Space Marine, as you can see, is much larger, taller, and has a larger base. But still, this mini looks very, very, very cool with the jump pack and whatnot. We have another baseline human, Sister Evelyn. As you can see, she is roughly of the same size as our Tempester. Baseline humans are quite tiny and flimsy. And of course, compared to Marnius Kalgar, he is really, really, really small. Kalgar is incredibly large compared to this guy. And that is gonna be it for today, my friends. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Tempesta Sequilon kill team. Do you like the new minis? Did you assemble and paint them? Did you play any games with them? Let me know. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It will really help me to move forward. And I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.